Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to this, and it's been a while since I've done any kind of video, and I apologise for that. Um, but nonetheless, Morrow Rules uploaded a video about the Call of Duty um, subscription service, Call of Duty Elite if you don't know. And I've talked about this, but I think I'll talk about this in a bit more detail for everyone so there's no confusion as to what's going on. But there's the free, there's the free, every Call of Duty apparently will come with free online. So you, you're not paying for online. Online is free, uh, for those of you who don't know. Um, and this is all coming off the Call of Duty wiki, and the Call of Duty wiki, if you don't know, is an excellent source of information, same with the Fallout wiki, and all these, like, if you play, it's like, seriously, I cannot recommend this website enough, if you play Fallout, and you fucking want to know what's going on, you go to that wiki, boy, and for those who say, no, oh, you're fucking using a wiki, it's unresourceful, fuck you, go and die, um, but... What there is, apparently, here are the free features, creating and joining clans and groups. Essentially, what Call of Duty Elite is looking to be, of course, we don't know because Activision still hasn't said anything about it, but it's essentially trying to be the Facebook of Call of Duty. And with that um, comes the whole social networking aspect of Call of Duty that nobody will fucking ever care about. Will there be people that will pay money for this? Head over heels, of course, there will be. And that subscription fee, they said, was going to be about that or less than the cost of Netflix. I don't have Netflix, so I don't know what it is, but apparently that's supposed to be less than $8 a month. Uh, so times that by 12, and you have $60 plus. So for those of you in the US and, and, and wherever, you know, you're paying double at the end. Um, but um, DLC comes with the subscription, that's free. So when you pay the subscription, DLC comes with it. Um, apparently, um, although if you're not subscribed, then you can just pay, uh, and buy the DLC separately without having to subscribe. So that offers the point of we've got, we've got, um, you know, we've got DLC coming out this month and instead of paying, you know, $8 a month or whatever, which will equal over $60, then why don't we just pay the 15 It's fucking idiotic. Um, what... I have an Xbox 360 and a PlayStation 3, um, so the Xbox, for those of you who don't know, the online is very locked, and by locked I mean Microsoft try to, so hard not to get you outside their system. The PlayStation is completely the opposite as you've got the internet browser and all those other kind of different things that you can go off and stuff like that. So you've got the, the, your Twitter on your, and your Facebook on um, Xbox and it's very closed off. You can't go anywhere, you can only stay in where Microsoft want you to go. And... I think that Activision are going to have to do something with Microsoft, make a deal or something with this service, because if I were Microsoft and they were going to make money directly off my network, either they'd be have to give, they'd either have to give me money, which I'm, which is probably what's going to happen, or I would pull the fucking service. And the reason I would do that is because if you're that anal about people staying in the box, as it were, then why would you allow people to do this elite subscription thing? which is, you know, branching off into this social networking crap. Um, so I, if I were Microsoft, it would be either give me a percentage of what you make, lump sum or whatever, uh, otherwise we'll pull the service. And I would not blame Microsoft for that at all. Uh, I will not be getting the Elite service because it's fucking no point. Um, I think, in my humble opinion, that this actually might... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? I think that this Elite subscription service, because it's got very dense, um, well, apparently it's got very dense video uploading and editing and viewing and all that kind of stuff, so essentially it's trying to be the machinima of, of Call of Duty, and it won't work because people are already watching machinima for this kind of stuff, and there is no way in hell you will pull people off YouTube for this crap. So I think that if, if it goes wrong, which it probably will, it'll piss off Activision, and then because... If you upload, I'm not sure of how it works with Machinima. I haven't asked them, so I don't know. Um, but you can have a license to upload Call of Duty. Call of Duty. This is video game footage in general. Now, Rockstar and Take Two are the most anal about this. Um, but if you upload uh, video game visuals of you playing a video game or anything, that that's breaking copyright law. Um, it can it can sometimes be argued that it's um, that it's fair use, although you know you you won't stand up in court with that. I can guarantee it. Um, so if this goes wrong, I can probably see Activision get Activision getting pissed and pulling down a lot of um, you know Call of Duty videos, commentary videos, if you will. So I think that if it goes wrong, it might have a very big negative impact on the Call of Duty community. I hate that fucking term, by the way, um, but I think it'll have a big impact, unless of course you have express permission from Activision to upload and revenue share uh, Call of Duty visuals. So. 
that's that's another thing. That and the Xbox thing. So Xbox is going to have to do a thing. PlayStation, they couldn't give a shit. They're too busy wasting money on useless crap like MLG servers or whatever the hell they're doing. My, and Sony really need to spend their money wisely when it comes to the PlayStation network because they're just fucking useless. Um, or something is going to have to happen on the Xbox whether they give you 25% off the fee or something. Something will have to happen. And um, I'm predicting that Act- Activision will just give Microsoft money. Um which I wouldn't be surprised. So uh, the free features include here creating joining clans and groups, viewing stati- viewing statistics and heat maps, editing custom classes and transferring them to the game from your phone. See how fucking how how why uh, uploading editing videos, uh, being put into groups based on Facebook profile information, viewing player history from Call of, from every Call of Duty title starting with Black Ops. Why? You don't need a social fucking network on Call of Duty. Nobody wants it. If you do want it, you're an idiot. Oh my god, it's fucking useless. It really is. It, it is It is insanely useless to put all that amount of effort into a social network for Call of Duty. It makes no sense. That's why Sony and Steam and... and um. Xbox have a friends list that you can go to. That's why you have fucking Wii codes, for Christ's sake. You don't need... I mean, P- I don't want to fucking play with someone that has the same, like, the same information, like, you know, um, what's the word? Like, similar information, like, the same as me. On Facebook, I don't want to fucking play that person. I just want to play somebody. And so help me God, why would it put you in groups based on Facebook profile information? How long is that going to take to fucking match make? Will somebody tell me? Christ! Oh, man, I don't fucking know. Why don't they just do it? You can tell that they're dying to put a fucking subscription on playing uh, Call of Duty, which, like, again, they can't do because I highly doubt that Sony and Xbox or Microsoft would let them do it. So that is that is probably, in and of itself, the only reason that um, Call of Duty is not subscription-based to play. This is a completely different service, and it's crap. Fucking, who wants this? And there will be people that will pay for it that are idiots. Um, it, I don't fucking know. I really don't. But a lot of it hasn't been released yet. Uh, there's a beta coming out soon. I put my email down for the beta. I thought, fuck it, why not? Um, but also, who fucking cares? Who wants to see heat maps and statistics? Uh, I've been advocated fucking statistics off. Because it only makes people camp like a cunt. And all that other kind of stuff. I mean, it, why do you want to look at a heat map? Call of Duty, this is what annoys me. If you're some really professional gamer that gets paid to play video games at some event somewhere, good. I'm sure that you do this on your own. You don't need this to be done. But if you're like me, it's a fucking video game. You, you play for fun, goddammit. That's fun is, is the missing link in everything these days. You can't do anything now without shit and fucking people taking... I mean... It's, People that camp, I know this is a different fucking thing. If you camp in a corner the whole game and that is fun to you, then I bet you fucking live in a farm in Pennsylvania somewhere and grow a beard down to your ankles. It's ridiculous. You're an idiot if you do that. I want to get my chopper gunner and I want to punch you very hard in the lower part of the face. You cunt. So anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm out. Have a good one. Ray Connor, subscribe. Um, that's the Call of Duty, Call of Duty Elite service. Until next time, I'm out. Have a good one. Ray Connor, subscribe. Au revoir.